Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make some of the best meatloaf that you have ever tasted, guys. And here's what you're gonna need. As you can see, I have my ground beef here, okay? And I've already cracked two eggs and put the two eggs in there, okay? I have chopped red bell pepper, chopped green bell pepper, and I have onions, okay? You're gonna need ketchup, accent, garlic powder, paprika, onion powder, parsley, salt, and pepper, and right here in the white package, that's a Lipton onion soup mix, okay? And you only need one packet of that. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead, mix everything in. Like I said, you can see the eggs, that's two cracked eggs, okay? And our vegetables. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna go ahead, put our ketchup in. You wanna put about a tablespoon, maybe, tablespoon and a half of ketchup okay let's go ahead and get some accent in there guys accent is the best flavor for meat stews and soups okay just like that and don't worry about this being salty okay it's not salty it's very flavorful we'll put some garlic powder in guys okay we'll put some paprika paprika will give it a smoky smoky taste onion powder you can't go wrong with onion powder guys okay we're gonna put parsley okay get you some parsley in there and we're gonna put some salt and pepper okay don't put too much salt okay there we go just like that and let's put some black pepper you gotta have black pepper guys and then the one package of Lipton onion soup mix okay the Lipton onion soup mix, it comes with two of these envelopes. You only need one, okay? And look at that. See all that flavor, guys? Lipton onion soup mix is delicious. And as you can see, let me zoom in, guys, so you can see very well. Um, can you see the dried onions in there? This right here, that's dried onions, okay? That's delicious. And then it has... Um, the seasoning <clears throat> okay so what we'll do now is I'm gonna go in with my hands you have to use your hands and my hands are impeccably clean right now okay we're gonna go in and I'm gonna mix this a little okay and there's one more ingredient I need to tell you guys about which is breadcrumbs okay now, here in a second, I'll get the breadcrumbs out, okay? I almost forgot my breadcrumbs. <laughs> but it's okay, guys. Like, if you forget something, you know, it's okay to just put it in when you remember, okay? No problem with that, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and get this in, just like this. It smells delicious, guys. That garlic with the onions and bell pepper, that Lipton onion soup mix smells delicious okay let me wash my hands really quick guys so I can grab my breadcrumbs now if you don't if you don't have breadcrumbs on hand you can use saltine crackers you can use um, oatmeal dried oatmeal you can use white bread if you want okay if you decide to use white bread you want to soak your white bread in milk okay just like this guys this is about a half a cup of breadcrumbs now what the breadcrumbs will do the breadcrumbs and the eggs what both of them will do i'm gonna put a little bit more garlic powder guys okay what the breadcrumbs and your eggs will do will help to bind this meatloaf okay it'll help to hold it together okay so you always want to have something of the sort like I said maybe a cracker oatmeal breadcrumbs a piece of bread whatever you decide to use okay all right and the key what my grandmother always told me guys <clears throat> do not handle your meatloaf a lot okay <clears throat> if you handle it too much It'll be tough, and we want a nice tender meatloaf, okay? So here's what we'll do next, guys. I'm done mixing it. I'm gonna go ahead and make our loaf, okay? So, 
pour it in our baking dish just like this, guys. Nothing hard. This is very simple. You can put this together very quickly before your in-laws come, before your family comes in town. Have a meatloaf, and this meatloaf will feed at least six people, guys. And if you need to feed more people, get more meat, okay? It's just that simple. Now, what you want to aim for, let me see, can you guys see that? What you want to aim for is a loaf, okay? Just move your sides out, just move your top, squeeze it, okay? You can make this, you can put this in a square pan, you can make it like a football, however, just make sure you smooth it out, okay? And when you smooth it out, what you'll do is you'll protect your meatloaf from all of your um, juices running out, okay? So if you see, if you were to see a crack, okay, like that, what you want to do is smooth it out. Smooth it out so all your juice doesn't run out of there, okay? Just like this, guys. This is ready. Now I have my oven preheated on 350, okay? What we're going to do, we're going to throw this in, in the oven on 350. And now when it's done, I'm going to let you know how long we cook it because the cooking times vary, okay? And it varies for different ovens also. Now, let me see if you guys got a good picture in on that. I'm going to zoom in, okay? This is what it should look like, guys, just like this, okay? And now what we're going to do, I always like to put a little tiny bit just a tiny bit of water in the bottom of this pan, okay? This water will uh, this water will evaporate, but we want it to start out with some water in the pan, okay? Just like this, and that was just a little bit, guys. Just a little bit of water. Let me see if you guys can see that. Okay, see that? Just a little bit, just enough to cover the bottom, okay? I'm gonna stick this in the oven on 350, and I'll be right back. Loaf. And see what it's looking like, okay? It's been cooking for 40 minutes. Okay, let's see what we got, guys. Hold on, let me try to zoom in so we can see good. This is what it looks like, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, we're going to let it go just for a few more minutes. Okay, and then I'll come back and you see I got some roasted potatoes under there, okay? I'll do a video for those roasted potatoes also, okay? All right, but what we're gonna do, let me close this oven, guys. What I wanna do, I want to do a video for gravy. I'm gonna make a nice, beautiful brown gravy for this meatloaf. Now, I also, um, I like to have the ketchup on top of the meatloaf, and my family, we like the ketchup and we like the brown gravy, okay? So I'll be doing both of those today, okay? So right now you can see, let me zoom in. This is a beef broth, guys, okay? It's nothing but a beef broth. And I use five beef bouillon cubes and water, okay? So now what I wanna do is I wanna season. I wanna season it, guys. Okay, so let me get a good picture in on it. Let me focus. There we go. I'm going to season this. Okay, I'm only going to use a little tiny bit of salt, guys. Okay, now hold on. Let me open it up. Not too much, okay? Just a tad bit like that, okay? Let's go in with black pepper. There we go. Garlic powder. A nice amount. Onion powder. Just like that, guys. Don't be afraid to season it, okay? Parsley. Let's get that parsley in there, okay? And now, what we're going to do over here. I have, um, I'm sorry, I have cornstarch, okay? And what I'm gonna do, 
I'm going to add cold water to this cornstarch. When you add cold water to cornstarch, that's called a slurry. And what a slurry does is um, you put the cold water in the cornstarch and you mix it into your broth, okay? Or your liquid, whatever liquid you have. And then minutes later, as your liquid or your broth is heating up, it will start to thicken. And that slurry from the corn starch and cold water makes your sauce or your broth thicken. Okay, this is very simple technique. Okay. And let me mix this up here. Just like this, guys. Nothing hard. Nothing hard. Just mix that corn starch slurry with your water. Mix it up good, okay? All right, let me clean my stove up, guys. I got a little mess here on the stove. And then we'll add the cornstarch slurry. And we'll make our gravy for our beautiful meatloaf, guys. I am so excited about this meatloaf. I haven't had meatloaf. Well, let's just say I haven't cooked it in a while. I think it's about time for us to have meatloaf. And then we'll have this meatloaf for a good two days, guys. And even, um, like, we like to eat meatloaf sandwiches over here. <laughs> meatloaf, cold meatloaf sandwiches, guys, are the best. Okay, here we go. I'm at the cornstarch gravy. Just like that. Nothing hard, okay? Now, what'll happen? Just like I said, guys. This will start to get thickened. Okay, I'd like to put a little bit more parsley because parsley makes everything beautiful, okay? And a little bit more garlic powder because I love garlic powder. <laughs> okay? All right, and when you use a cornstarch slurry, um, your gravy will not. Mark me when I say this, guys. Your gravy will not be lumpy, okay? It'll be nice and smooth and beautiful, okay? Just like this, guys. I'm gonna taste this and see if it's the taste that I'm looking for, guys. And if not, I'm gonna season it again. Mm. I'm gonna put a little bit more onion powder, okay? I'm going to put a little bit more salt, okay? Just a little bit. That's enough. Actually, let me do a little bit more pepper. <laughs> but that's what you do, guys. When you want to know if you need more of something, you taste it. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid to taste things, guys. If you don't taste it, you won't know if you need more seasoning, okay? Now, this is starting to thicken up exactly how I want it to, okay? Let's zoom in. Just like this. See how that's thickening up? Just like that. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, and it looks like I might need a little bit more cornstarch, but we'll just wait a few minutes to see if it thickens up a little more. But if it doesn't, then we'll, we'll use more cornstarch with the cold water. We'll thicken it up a little bit more. Isn't that beautiful? I think this is the perfect consistency, guys. Look at this gravy. Is that beautiful or what? And it was so simple, so simple and so quick. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this gravy off. And we'll come back. I'm gonna be taking the meatloaf out the oven and then we'll plate the meatloaf up. Okay, guys. Here's what our beautiful meatloaf looks like. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put the ketchup on there, like I said, that I like. Okay? But I'm not going to do a real big, thick layer. You know, some people just, they slather it on and put a whole lot. You don't need a whole lot, okay? You don't need a whole lot. Just enough to get a little bit of crust on it. 
a little bit of color, a little tiny bit of flavor, okay, on top. You don't need too, too much. I see people putting too much and it just, it makes me quinge a little bit. Okay, because you only need a little bit. That's all you need. Let me put a tiny bit more, okay? Not too much, guys. Okay? Just like this. We're going to put this back in the oven for five minutes. Now, after five minutes, well, we'll give it about five to ten minutes, okay? Put it in the oven. Okay, so this can cook on top. And then we'll take it out. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. My meatloaf has cooked for one hour. And I only had to cook my, um, the ketchup on the top. I only cooked it for a good seven minutes. And it's nice and set on there, okay? And you see I have some uh, roasted potatoes here. That I made to go with it. Let's get this cut up, guys, and and pour some of this beautiful gravy on top of it. Okay, let me zoom in, guys. I want to get a good picture in on this. Okay. I think I think what I'm gonna do, guys. I need to put this video on pause while I cut it, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. The meatloaf is cut. Seriously, look at this piece of art guys I'm really not even playing I'm not playing today guys look at it and this is what I want you guys to share with your family and friends okay this here this here guys Woo this here this here is some serious meat loaf meat loaf 101 it can't get any better than this, guys. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit more. Look at that, guys. Look at it. And now, and like I said, some of my family, we uh, well, we all like the um, ketchup on top, but we also like the gravy. So I'm going to pour some of this beautiful gravy on top, guys. I'm just going to put it on four of them, okay? And then I'm going to leave the others with just ketchup. And then if they want to put gravy... On theirs they can here we go guys oh <laughs> make you want to cry <laughs> oh my oh man I seriously wish my dad was was here tonight if he was here he would be grubbing on this meatloaf right now mm, mm, mm. He's still with us. He's just not here tonight at my house, guys. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. All right, let's get a plate. Well, I'm just going to go in. I'm going in, guys. I have to first. Let me taste one of these potatoes first. Like I said, I will do a video for these potatoes, guys. These potatoes are awesome. Okay? Mmm. 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 Boy, boy, oh boy. Look at this, guys. Look how beautiful. Look at the different color. Look at this. Is it beautiful or what? Oops, can we drop it? Okay, I'm going in, guys. I cannot take it any longer. I'm going in. Look at that. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh, man. Guys, it's getting late. I'm getting ready to feed my family. If you all enjoyed this recipe, give me a thumbs up. Mmm. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel because you don't know what you're missing, guys. Stick with me, and I'm going to show you guys some good recipes. And as always, God bless, have a great night, and thank you for watching.